Do you ever get that feeling where you just like want to push things on, keep going, keep going, you are, I'll do it a little bit later, I'm going to watch a little bit of TV first, make some dinner first, then I'll do that thing. You keep putting it off, keep putting it off, and then all of a sudden, it's too late to do it that day, and then you need to wait for tomorrow for it to be able to be done. And then tomorrow even comes around, you're like, I'll oh, sack it off as well, right? This is procrastination, and this, what I'm going to record for you right here, is a ultimate guide to eradicate procrastination from your life forever. Now, there's four parts to this. I'm going to refer to my notes as well. So the first bit is why humans procrastinate in the first place. The second bit is what can be done to eradicate procrastination. The third is techniques, strategies, and ways of thinking to avoid procrastination in the first place. And then to finish up, we're going to do some physical things that you can physically do in the real world to avoid procrastination okay so that is the outline of how we're going to do this let's just get into it straight away i'm going to be like rattling this this off fairly quick i don't know how long it's going to be but it's going to be fairly inclusive for whatever you need and the premise of this is use this video as a playbook so every time you feel like procrastinating watch this video and learn exactly what you've got to do maybe refer back to certain points where you're like, okay, I forgot about that. Let me use this technique and then use it, close the video and then go ahead and do your work type of stuff. That's how the whole thing should be used, okay? So let's get into it. Why do humans procrastinate? And there's a few, there's a list of a few items here, but the one, that, I'm just gonna list them off and then go into the ones that I feel, think are like super uh, need explaining basically. So you could just have a lack of motivation. Maybe you're just not, enticed enough to do the thing that you want to do or you just have no drive to do that or the goal doesn't seem that um, desirable to you right it could be the difficulty of the task so it could be something that's quite difficult for you to do it could be you are a perfectionist so you want things to be perfect before you actually step set up and get going it could be a lack of self-discipline maybe that's an area you need to kind of work on in your life to kind of be like you know what whatever's going on don't worry about that i'm just going to do it it could be your time management skills. Maybe you just are procrastinating because you have more things to do in your day so you actually don't have the time to do the thing you know you need to do and that big thing that you're kind of putting off, right? It could be the fear of failure. That's fairly obvious. Uh, it could be lack of clear goals. You're not sure exactly what your desired purpose for doing that activity is or maybe it's like a delayed gratification type of thing. So you just keep putting it off and keep putting it off. It could be impulsivity. You could be like an ADHD kid where you just don't like like sitting down in one place and just like, oh, you want to do this, or you want to play a game now, or you want to go eat now, etc. It could be other emotional factors like stress, anxiety, or depression. If you are in that kind of like low state, you don't want to be able to, you don't want to do things that are going to put you in a better situation. You want to like feed on, on that negativity. And sometimes people in the, these type of states can feel this way as well. It could be task aversion, so similar to before, where it's just like, you would rather do this task than that task, the actual task you need to do. So you're just kind of like hopping around from task to task. And then also the finally, there's lack of consequences. If you don't do it right now, this is all coming down to delayed gratification again and instant gratification. If you don't do this right now, you won't see a result right away. You may see a result like in a year from now, but at the same time, you're putting it off and you're not doing the work you know you need to do right now to help your future self get that result later. Like if I didn't record this video, if I just kept procrastinating, for example, this video would have taken either another day for me to record, but I just said, you know what, I'm gonna live by the principle I'm gonna about to share in this video and use it to my advantage, which is like the, the tactics I'm, I, I had coming up. So basically I'm in, in this situation for me, I haven't had lunch yet. I feel like I've had breakfast, I've had my shower, I've cut my hair, I've done all these different things. Now I'm like, I need, to, the, the very next task for me to do is to record this video. Of course you don't feel like recording a video. You feel like watching a movie, you feel like doing other things, right? I feel like going out on a bike ride right now. But I know if I didn't do this, then my, th this video wouldn't get uploaded to the channel on time. It wouldn't go out in a right, like sequence of videos that I have. I would feel shitty about it. I would feel like, down at myself, I'll be ashamed of myself. I'll be like, you know what, I put a commitment out to do a video a day for the next thousand days. So all of this is like adding up in my mind and like these are the consequences of me not doing it, right? So I'm pushing myself to do it now. So with all these techniques that I have to kind of like show you firsthand physically, physical proof that this is actually, I'm living by what I'm saying kind of thing, right? So that's your like why humans procrastinate just understanding that alone like one of the things that i've listed you might be like oh shit, yeah that's me and that's really like 
90% of the battle. Once you realize like you're putting something off or you just lack the motivation to do it in the first place or the, the task is difficult or you, you're a perfectionist, once you realize this, once you understand this, that is 90% of the battle done. Because understanding it, you are able to now like, okay, I understand why I'm doing this, right. Okay, I'm gonna push that aside and actually just go ahead and do it. Sometimes it's the confusion, it's the, la it's the lack of clarity between why you should be doing it that you just don't do it in the first place. So hopefully some of these things you kind of like peek your ear and be like, oh, okay, I don't have a lack of, I have a lack of discipline, for example. So now I need to work on my discipline and then start actually doing things. And how do I work on my discipline? Literally do the thing you're procrastinating on, right? So little snapshot into that right there. The next section we talked about is what can be done to eradicate procrastination completely? Okay, so these are a few things you can do. So I'm just gonna rattle these off here and uh, yeah, let's do that now. So one, you can set clear goals. You can break the task into smaller steps. So if it's gonna take you an hour and you like have a really like long, uh, a short attention span, do it in 15 minute breaks, like 15 minute segments, for example, and then have a five minute break, right? That's called the Pomodoro technique, which I'll mention later as well. You can create a to-do list and just tick off all the lists. I'm sure you do that on your iPhone. It feels very satisfying once you've done the hoovering, once you've done the cleaning, once you've done whatever, once you've recorded the video, once you've done the 10, the 10 cold calls. You tick it off, you feel, all right, I've, done, I've accomplished something today. You can look back on that list and be like, yeah, all right, I feel good. You can use time management techniques like the Pomodoro technique, which is, which is basically you do 15 minutes on and then you have a five minute break or 25 minutes on and then a five minute break. And then you just, for that five minutes, you get up, you change your physical state, you go out for a walk, you do something that, you're, that you like, do some press ups, whatever. Uh, watch a five minutes of shorts on your phone if that's something that you wanna do. And then come back to the work for another 25 minutes and then you go back and forth again until like for four hours you can do that. Just keep having the work and then the five minute break. Work the five minute break, right? Uh, so that's Pomodoro technique right there. You can set deadlines. Parkinson's law is like you set a deadline and then you fill up the work until that deadline basically. So let's just say if I have this video to record and I have by 5 p.m. to to record it, release it and upload it with a metadata, with the thumbnail, everything, that is now my deadline. So it's currently three, uh, 2.59, so three o'clock pretty much. So I've got two hours until this, needs, this video needs to be out. So now I've set myself a deadline where I'm just like, all right, cool. Everything needs to be done. It is video needs to be wrapped up realistically by like latest. I don't think it'll go on this late, but like four thirty, so an hour and a half's time from now. And in that time, it will be like done. I can upload it. I can do the thumbnail. I can do the SEO. It's all done, right? This video won't be that long though. <laughs> um, the next thing you can do is set, uh, minimize distractions. So clear everything, like clear your browsers, everything like that. Put your phones away. All these type of stuff to kind of like reduce the amount of enticing things that you could do otherwise than the actual thing you need to do. You can again practice this self-discipline and this is just like you continuously um, do the thing until you're um, proficient at it enough that you actually crave doing it because like like for a good example of this right so I don't like doing abs but I love doing chest in the gym right. Why do I like doing that? It's because I am good at chest press but I'm not good at ab crunches and so I don't like it as much and because I'm not as strong in that department because I don't like it as much I do it less because I, it's not fun for me the opposite should be true like I should do the thing that are weaknesses but human nature I do the thing that I'm good at like I like playing basketball so I will do loads, loads of shots of basketball I do not like playing football for example so I would hardly play football right so all these different things just works to your strength and when you practice self-discipline you can kind of like build up those um, strengths as well as the weaknesses at the same time because you know you need to kind of like put the discipline in, put the work in basically to build that discipline basically. Um, the perfectionism thing, just to manage it, understand understanding perfectionism and then also be like, because I'm a perfectionist, I'm gonna realize this now and just stop it and be like, all right, look, this is like 70% good enough. I can put this out now kind of thing, right? Overcoming the fear of failure, finding intrinsic motivation. This is more like not for external validation for example so you put something out this video out i'm not doing this for anyone i'm doing this for me so i'm putting this video out and i'm not thinking oh how many likes will this video get how many uh, views will this video get how many people will share this and comment good things about me in the comments below right that is all extrinsic motivation intrinsic motivation is like all right i'm going to do this for my son so that when he has you know times in his life where he's procrastinating he can watch this video and watch it back and that's cool like that's 
that's like within my it's intrinsic it's, it's outside of me but it's in inside my family so it's like helping someone who's like a part of me almost and then also for myself so i can put this out it's a YouTube video for me. It's another video asset for me. If, if I wanna watch this every now and then to remind myself of what I've been thinking at this time in my life, I can do that. Intrinsic motiv motivation, right? Bring it back to why you're doing it for yourself, okay? Use visualization techniques. So if I wasn't gonna record this video, but I wanted to, I'd just close my eyes and be like, all right, what could I say? What could I do? What can I say on camera? How could I like reflect myself best in this video? It's like a visualization technique that you can use to kind of, uh, uh, as, as a strategy, as a technique, basically. And uh, the next thing is seek accountability. So this is fantastic. You just tell someone you're gonna do it, you have to do it, otherwise you look like an idiot in front of that person. So you call up your boy, um, I wanna go to the gym today, you come in, I wanna do chest, whatever. If you don't go to the gym now, you're a dickhead. You stood up your friend, you like uh, aren't serious about your gains, but you've told him now, so you now have accountability, so then you can do the thing. That's you can eradicate um, procrastination right there. You send a quick text or do whatever you need to do, for example, in that situation with the gym. Now, now you can't do undo the text, so um, you've done it. So like for that day, if you have a gym buddy, say, just send a text. If you feel unmotivated to work out, send that text. And then people are like, yeah, let's do it. And then, they, oh, you can't back out now. So you're gonna see your boy, and then you're also gonna work out at the same time. So win-win, right? The next thing you do is underline the address the underlying emotional issues. So if you are stressed, if you are depressed, if you are anxious, understand why you are these things because this is the thing that's kind of stopping you and then once you deal with these things it's like trauma has been lifted almost and you're like oh, okay i'm free i can kind of like go against uh, go back to living my life and doing what i need to do in the moment which is what, wherever you're procrastinating on uh understand and practice self-compassion so yes, you're gonna fuck up every now and then, you're not gonna wanna do things, you're gonna feel shitty sometimes, that's okay, but you just have to continuously, like, not beat yourself up about it too much, but also be like, look, you've done well, you've done this, look, let's just do a little bit. Like, your self-talk in this is massive, like, what you say to yourself is massive. If you, if you constantly berate yourself and you, like, negatively self-talk to yourself, you're not gonna wanna feel like doing it. But if you be like, look, you did well yesterday, you can do this again today. Look, do it for five minutes or two minutes. This is one of the techniques that I'm gonna mention coming up as well. Do it for this amount of time or just like, do it until this happens or do the Pomodoro technique. And if you talk to yourself nicely, you're more likely to convince your mind. This goes down to um, like a, a book called The Chimp Paradox where you're like, you have a human in your brain and a chimp in your brain. The chimp is the one that you, is procrastinating, that's making you procrastinate. Whereas the human can talk to the chimp to kind of ration, rationalize to the chimp to say, look, yeah, of course you don't feel like doing it, I understand, but if you do it, at the end, we're gonna go for a treat, the Pomodoro technique, right? Or at the end, um, we can, um, you know, watch a movie, or we can do, um, we can order a pizza or whatever, right? Do something to kind of reward the chimp and like, and also the, uh, like to say to the chimp, um, if you do this now, in th in a year's time, this video is still gonna pay you, for example, for all the um, the views it gets at that point. So you may as well just do it, right? So that's me kind of talking to my chimp, for example. So that's an example of what you can do to kind of practice self-compassion there. Um, learn from your procrastination, the next point, which is basically just re reflect on the reasons why you procrastinated in the past and if you come to a point where you're like, oh, I don't want to do it again, but you know in the past you've, you've overcome it, just be like, look, I've overdone it, I've overcome it once, I've got that reference experience, let me just go ahead and do it now, because I'm gonna feel shit if I don't do it. You understand the whole process because you've been through it a thousand times, for example, just refer to that previous case, be like, yeah, look, I'm just gonna do it and just get it over and done with kind of thing. And then uh, you're back on track. You can stay organized, so keep your entire desk, everything clear, like what I did recently, cleared my entire desk. There's only a few bits, my camera, my mouse, my keyboard, my um, handheld like um, camera attachment, and then my computer, and then like a little plug, and a picture of my son. That's it, like there's nothing else on this desk. So it's just a matter of keeping everything clean, keep your mind clean, and then you actually start doing the work, right? The next thing you do, and the final thing you can do, is set rewards. So, like with the Pomodoro technique, like sometimes when I'm when I'm dieting and stuff, I say, "All right, I'm going to eat clean for this entire week or ten days or two weeks." At the end of that time, I'm going to have a pizza and um, uh, ice cream and chicken wings from Domino's, for example, right? So, um, 
it's a bit of a, <laughs> it's a, bit of a counterintuitive thing because it's like, I'm going against my cheat. But at the same time, it is a reward. It is something that I'm incentivized for. Comes like, oh yeah, that would be, that'd be sick. And you don't want to like overdo it. It's like only a cheat meal, not a cheat entire day or a cheat few weekend or week or whatever, right? It's one meal I'm just going to pig out on. I don't have no, I have, I feel no guilt about it because I've done so well during the week, etc. So these small little things kind of like reward you. And um, maybe if you do, if you choose some things that are not as um, uh, <laughs> destructive. So if I instead wanted to like, so I've been working out a week eating right, and instead of treat myself with a pizza, which is just gonna like lower my gains, I can instead treat myself with like protein pancakes or like um, something. You know, I can't think of the top, off the top of my head right now, but something along those lines that are like more of a treat, but it's still kind of okay um, because you're still kind of like eating the right ish food for what you need for your body yeah you're gonna have a little bit of like sugar in that maple syrup or whatever but it's still not nonetheless gonna be better than the entire pizza and like wings and uh tub of ice cream right so that's another little fact you can use so that's it with the um why we procrastinate in the first place and then what can be done to, pro to eradicate procrastination the next bit is some some strategies that you can like start implementing and um ways of thinking and techniques to um overcome procrastination in the first place, right? So there's a thing called the two minute rule, which is anyone can do anything for two minutes. So I can start recording for two minutes. I can do two minutes worth of push-ups. I can do two minutes worth of burpees. I can do two minutes worth of cold calls. I can do two minutes worth of anything. I can do two minutes worth of meditation, right? It doesn't matter what it is, but just do it for two minutes. If at the end of the two minutes you wanna carry on cause you're kinda of like, all right, I'm doing it now. I may as well just carry on. That's a great way. Or if you don't, that's fine. Just stop and then just carry on with your day and maybe come back to it later in the day. But taking some action is better than taking no action, right? We all know this. So as long as you take a little bit of action to start the process, like from, um, like start the ball rolling, the two minute technique is ideal for that. And matter of fact, all these like situations, is all of these techniques I'm about to mention are just to help you get the ball rolling when it comes to procrastinating, to, to stopping your procrastination from starting in the first place, to start you from taking action. So that's what we're trying to help you do, right? Start, start taking action. So you can do that, the two minute rule. The next one is just set a timer. So you're gonna work for 15 minutes, for example, right? Put a timer, 15 minutes, all right, bang out the work, 15 minutes. As soon as the alarm goes off, if you wanna carry on, cool, carry on. If you don't, just uh, stop 15 minutes, after 15 minutes. And maybe you can do that a couple of times during the day as well. So again, just to help you get started to do your work, right? The next thing is create a ritual. So like, back when I uh, went to Tony Robbins' um, Un Unleash the Power Within like seminar in London, right? I created this ritual, which is like me banging my fist on my chest three times. So every time I do that, I feel like, I've, I've conditioned myself over years as well to do this. And now whenever I do it, I'm just like, I feel all right, my chest ex expands. I take a deep breath in usually when I do it as well. I feel like, all right, I'm about to do something now. And when you create a ritual like this, you literally like, uh, it's like a prayer almost before you're about to go and do the thing, right? So I can do this. And if I don't feel like working out, all right, get up, let's go. Let's go to the work, let's go to the gym. Let's go here, let's go to the garage and where, where I've got my weights and stuff. Let's do some push-ups right now. And, or I can, like, let's just record this video. Or if I'm about to speak to someone and I feel, want to give myself a little confidence boost, a little, like, charisma check, I will do that. I'll feel pumped. I'll be like, all right, cool. Let me go and meet this person. It could, it could help with interviews. It could be like anything, right? And this is something I can do. This is, like, n not many people, I don't have to bang it on my chest. Not many people notice when I do it because I'm just doing it, like, really um, subtly. I'm just like, it looks like I'm just, like, banging my chest because I've got a cough or a tickly throat. But in my mind, I'm like, no, I'm about to do something here and it's taking action in whatever department, whether it was me when I was uh, single, approaching girls, I'd be like, all right, I feel a bit low on confidence, and just do this, all right, cool, confident, let's go, and I go approach that girl. Or whether it's me recording this video, or whether it's working out, or whether it's like meeting someone out and about um, for business purposes, anything, you can use that for anything, right? So you can steal that if you like and just use that for yourself, or you can create your own one too. So some people will like um, brew their cup of coffee and that could be their ritual, right? Um, so it doesn't have to be like a physical to your body changing your state type of thing. It could be making coffee. It could be like creaming your face. It could be like uh, having a sip of water or like something that you can attribute to a, you about to take action. Okay, so getting, getting into that one a little bit more specifically, but kind of just helps to uh, clarify.
The next one um, is uh, use the just one thing approach, which is basically you say, all right, I'm not going to do everything. I'm just going to do one thing. And so for recording this video, it will be literally, all right, look, I'm just going to start talking for a minute and see what happens. And then boom, next thing you know, I've recorded a 30 minute video, for example, right? It could be, all right, I'm going to do this one thing, which is one push up. If I fancy doing two, I'll do more. And, I'm, and you can literally like trick yourself and say, all right, just one more. All right, just one more, just one more, just one more. And then all of a sudden you've done a hundred push-ups in a row, right? So you can use that with anything. It could be a cold call. All right, I'm just gonna do this one cold call. Cool, made a cold call. Now you've warmed up. Now you've loosened your 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 vocals. You Now you've like loosened up your mind. You're like, ah, fuck, I'm gonna do 10, right? And there's oh, just one more, 11. Uh, now I've done 10% more than 100%, which is like 10, you've done 11 now, right? Oh, I might as well just do 200% now and round it up, right? You can keep doing this thing. You can't keep tricking yourself to take action. And it comes to a point where you're like, no, nah, this is just what I do. This is just who I am now. You don't have to keep using these techniques. You just, you, you, you embody the identity that takes action. And then you're like, oh, okay, this is sick. So let me just um, wake up now. I know what I'm going to do. AM, all right, cool. I'm on the phone, done. And you just like bang it out because that's just who you become and that's just who you are you identify a certain action taker, right? Um, you can commit publicly. So the next point, commit publicly. So for example, I can put out a video and saying, um, uh, getting my fat ass into shape um, series. And it's like 10 episodes or like a, a one week apart, for example, right? For 10 weeks. And it's me, I show you a picture of my body on the first week. Every week I show you a, a video update of like my body and like what I'm eating, etc. And then now I've got like public, I'm, pu I'm committed to the public to constantly stay accountable and take action. So this is something you just kind of like put out there, all eyes are on you. If you fail, now you look like a bit of a pussy. So you don't want to fail, you just want to keep it up basically. So that's what you can do there. Or you can say this, if it's not like online, you can say it to your family and friends as well, right? It's, a, it's like an accountability um, technique. You can set a specific goal. So you can just have a specific goal in mind. I'm going to do this, get it done, done. Once it's done, carry on with the rest of your day. Don't really need explaining that one. Um, again, uh, eliminate distractions. The next one's uh, practice mindfulness. So a lot of the time, like you have too many thoughts running in your mind and you have like so many distracting thoughts. I'm gonna do this now, I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna do this now. That. It's like those pendulums that keep going backwards, like back and forth between, between different thoughts, right? What you wanna do is like, have that pendulum, be able to control it and be like, no, I'm gonna just need to do this one thing and then that's what I'm gonna do. So practicing mindfulness, Read a book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, that will help you still your mind. And then from there, you kind of control what thoughts you wanna have rather than having just thoughts bounce around your head all day. Um, you instead control the one thought that you want. And it takes practice, it takes time, but this is so this, if you're gonna do this video for life, you may as well do that for life as well. It's one of the best techniques you, you can ever do out there. And so I'd say get get started now with meditation It'll and mindfulness, it will change your life basically. Um, the next thing you can do is just break it down into little chunks. So you've got um, five videos to do, or this, this like, this, I'm doing this all in one take, but like if I were to edit it and stuff like that, I could have done this over uh, two days, for example, right? I could have done like the first section, the second section, and then the, the, the last two sections and then in the next day, and then edit it together. But I don't like that type of style of video, so I've just done it in one. But if you were to do that as well, um, yeah, you could do that. You can do that basically if you're not as badass as me. But um, the next one is you positive self-talk. Like I said before, with the whole self-talk stuff, you're kind of like talking to your chimp to do the thing you want it to do. Remind remind yourself that, like put, put a little visualization out there of you as a human and you as a chimp in your mind, right? Your brain has two little centers, the human brain and the chimp brain. You have to convince your chimp brain to do it. You are selling your chimp brain on why you need to do it. And don't think like, oh, I'm above this. Literally everyone has this. This has been around since like Greek philosopher times. This is, this is a thing that really exists in the mind. So use it, understand it and realize this is a thing and then just start convincing yourself. Treat yourself like a child and say like, oh, if I did this, I will get this. Say it out loud, even type it out. Say a video to yourself. If I did this, this this is the thing that will come later down the line and I will feel good and I, we can go out afterwards and <laughs> like, literally baby yourself. It fucking works, so you may as well, right? Same thing I said before. So um, another like um, technique or strategy or way of thinking you can do is set a deadline. Get get more accountable. Like I said, you can get start. A, you can get a starting playlist like on Spotify, for example. So if you were to like 
press that it's like similar to the ritual type of thing you press the playlist as soon as you hear that one song you're like boom all right i'm in the zone eventually like 100 days in as soon as you press that song five seconds in one second in as soon as that first little instrument hits you're like boom all right, i don't need the rest of this music switch that off let me go ahead and work because you're conditioning yourself this is a whole conditioning process to help you take more action in the long term consistently so Try that technique, it definitely works. It's like a similar to the ritual thing that I mentioned with the banging on your chest type of stuff, but this is more of a like, if you're more of like an auditory type of person, you could play a Spotify playlist, for example, or like start your own. Um, the next one is uh, practice five second rule, which is popularized by Mel Robbins, who is like um, uh, an, an author and speaker. And basically she says she was in this really bad rut and then she came up to a, a point where she was like, oh, what am I gonna do? I think she was going through like some family problems and stuff. And then she literally just, she was lying in bed and she was like, oh, look, when I get to zero, I'm gonna get up and take a shower or whatever. So she's like, oh, okay, five, four, three, two, one. Open eyes, all right, get out of bed. She physically changed her state after five seconds. So she like literally got up out of bed and went to the shower. Doing that, it sounds so basic, so simple, so easy. And it is, but it works. So don't knock until you tried it, definitely try that. And if you wanna get that book, Five Second Rule, that's a pretty good one as well. Um, just kind of like shows you ways of how other people did that same thing. So it's pretty good um, and, it, and it definitely does work. Uh, the next one you can do is, uh, okay, so set a time for when you were gonna do the thing you wanna do. So let's just say you are busy all day, but from three o'clock till 3.30, you have a lot of time allowance to do the thing you wanna do. Do it within that time carry on with the rest of your day. If you schedule your entire day like this, you can get a lot more done. And then you also have time where you're like, all right, uh, 3.30 to four, fuck around, do, do whatever I like, go on a bike ride, do whatever you want, destructive habits, it's fine. For that allotted time. But the rest of your day, the rest of your day, make it like fairly structured. So you're like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty accountable for this entire thing. It's all on my calendar. It's all color coded or whatever. I've got it all planned out. I can just execute on my um, daily, plan or diary if you will calendar right uh where am i now okay here is uh a reason why i said like techniques strategies ways of thinking it's finding your why so simon sinek um the author of uh what is this book called simon sinek let me search right now but it's uh, basically simon sinek why is it why is that what it's called start with why okay so this brother simon sinek it's a good book it just kind of um it kind of talk well what it talks about is providing you have a strong enough reason for doing something so let's just put you in a situation like this right your kids or your if you don't have kids your mum or if you know a mum, whatever, like your close family member or friend, closest friend or family member, right, is in a burning building across the street from you and they're on a roof, right? You're also in on the roof but on another building, right? Their, burn, their building is burning and they're struck with fear but there's like a little plank between both buildings and you need to go over there and pick them up, run across the plank back to your safe building. Now, if it's someone like your child, like I've got an eight month child, for example, right? and he he can't he can't walk by himself he can crawl around and stuff but imagine if i look down and i see that building burning and he was on top of it crying his eyes out getting like the the flames licking the back of his head right and i'm over here on this on this building but there's a plank connecting these buildings do you think for any instant i'm going to even think about not running across that plank grabbing my child running back do you see what i mean the why when the wire is big enough you will take action but Sometimes if your why is not big enough, you just won't take the action. So if it's like your worst enemy, maybe you wouldn't do that. You don't really care or whatever. Or maybe you're just not a good person <laughs> or whatever, right? Um, if it's, it's as I say, it, well, the same thing, if, you're, if your kid's drowning in the ocean, you don't know how to swim. Best believe, trust me, if, you're, if your kid is drowning, you're gonna find a way to swim. You're gonna do anything you can. You're gonna like, fight, like, like ask people around or you're just gonna run directly and figure out how swimming works in the process, right? You're gonna do it to, to save the life of your child. The same thing can be said in like everyday normal things. If you have a deep enough why, for example, this, this reason I record these videos is so that when I'm 
dead, long gone. I'm gonna be the first in my entire bloodline to kind of like do this type of stuff. Um, I wish my granddad did, for example, to start things off so I can understand how he spoke and how, and how understand how he was thinking when he was like 23 or 33 like I am, right? But unfortunately, he doesn't have that. And so he, I have pictures of him, a few videos on birthdays that's taken, stuff like that. But now he's gone, I never have that experience of like understanding who he really was deep down. Whereas me, me recording these videos, my son will see this, his son will see this, his son's sons will see this. Throughout a thousand years potentially of my legacy, they will all see this. And this is my really reason why for doing this every single day. I haven't, I've been consistent up till now. I don't see any reason why not, I shouldn't be. For, for, for like the long term but in my mind I've got a thousand days I want to be consistent for maybe I'll take it back from there but nonetheless I'm not missing an upload I'm not missing the time of upload every 5 p.m. every single day it's coming out right <clears throat> and this is just to kind of like <clears throat> excuse me this is just to reiterate like when you have a deep enough why when you have a big enough why you will do anything you will do the 10 cold calls a day you will record the videos you will eat what you need to eat you exercise every day, you will speak to that pretty girl because that could be the potential mother of your children, the wife, the, your wife for life, for example, right? So when the why is big enough, you will take action. So all these different techniques may not even like um, inspire you enough until you have a deep enough why. So that's a really powerful one there. And sorry to go into it too much, but hopefully you did it some justice. Um, I'm gonna rattle these off a little bit quicker now. So again, set some small goals, small goals, chunk it up, uh, reward yourself. Um, with like a treat at the end of whatever you're doing. Start with the easiest part. So the easiest part for this is just literally pressing record and starting, starting the first few words. Um, for the exercise, it could be a couple press ups and that's about it, right? So start with the easiest bit. Don't go with the hardest bit first. Um, use a progress journal. So it could be like, all right, I did this today. I'm really proud of myself for doing this. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. This is how I feel about myself by doing so. You start to feel gratitude for yourself and you start rewarding yourself, start patting yourself on the back. You're like, all right, cool, this is sick. So I'm gonna carry on kind of thing. Um, the next one is um, seek inspiration. So you can read something, watch something. So basically this video, uh, you can watch this as many times as you like um, and uh, jump to the certain sections as well that are more important for you in your specific situation. Maybe if you want to like um, write below in the comments like some timestamps that you personally want to go back to and then everyone can have their own collection of timestamps that are like um, good points for them. So it's not like everyone's timestamps there. And if someone wants to kind of like timestamp all of these, that'd be fantastic. So that would be like props to you if you do that. Um, the next thing is make a commitment and write it down. Like So, so it's just like signing a contract for yourself. This is another technique that I've done in the past before. It does actually work because you're like, if you break this contract, you're just like um, making yourself um, have less respect for yourself. And by doing so, you're like, I'm a loser. Why would I do that? So you, you want to have that. So I would literally write like, my name is Jay Mystery and I declare that on this day, I will, and this day forward from every single day going forward, I will record and upload a video to YouTube that goes out at 5 p.m. every single day for the next three years. So that is my contract to myself. At the bottom, I sign it and I date it and I can put that somewhere, right? I'm not, I haven't used this in my life like for this, but I've done this for other things in the past. So just giving you this example. So if I see that now every single day and I don't, do what I'm saying I'm going to do. I'm just like, I'm a loser in my own eyes. And that's the worst. You don't want to be a loser to yourself, right? You don't want to be like the guy that doesn't really, um, who the word mean nothing to himself. And you want to be your best friend. You want to be your best advocate. You want to be your best business partner. So pretend your business partner sees that and you don't do it. They will think of you as a loser, right? So you are your business partner. So you are a loser if you don't do it. So another way to kind of like force yourself to make this by making a physical contract commitment to yourself. And then lastly on this bit, on the techniques and ways of thinking and uh, strategies, just think of the consequences. If you don't record this video, what's gonna happen? In my mind, I genuinely believe that, this channel is like small right now, but I genuinely believe that if I don't record this video and upload it today, someone will die. And it could be someone I never known, someone I do know, it, it could be anyone, right? But someone I know in the world needs to hear this message, how I'm speaking, they re resonate with me, etc. right? So me putting this content out there, someone will find it, someone will pick it up, and someone will be like, okay, thank goodness for this guy putting this video out. Even if the video gets five views over a year, one of those five people may watch it till the end and keep watching it every year, 
like going forward and I've saved that person's life. Now, this may not ever happen. This may, I may not be saving anyone's life, but the, ma the main fact is that I believe I am saving someone's life by doing this, do you see? So if you don't think that whatever you're doing is gonna save someone's life in the future, you may not wanna do it. So like, even if I press up, like do like 10 press ups right now, and I say, like, if I don't do these, these 10 press ups, I won't have the strength to be able to pick up my son when he's like fallen off this, um, well, that's more of a back exercise. I'm getting technical. If I don't do these 10 pull ups, okay, now, in three years time when I need to, when I'm like been hiking all day, for example, with my son, and then he slips, for example, and I need to pull him up, or one of my friends or whoever, I need to pull him up from this thing, I may not have the strength to do so if I don't do these 10 pull ups right now and train myself right now and get strong now. So it's taking a really like uh, severe stance on taking action. But sometimes if you think this way, the amount of stuff you get done you wouldn't believe it. It's just ridiculous. If I didn't think this way and I didn't upload a video currently, which is 76 days in a row or 70, around that around that number, like I probably just would have done one video a week like everyone else, but it would have been like um, very, like the growth of the channel would be slow. It would be like, it would be all rubbish. Basically everything will be rubbish. The content will be rubbish. But like if instead I just recorded a video every single day and uploaded every single day and had a new idea that I wanted to like flesh out and think about or I'm reading concept from here and there and everywhere and I'm applying it I'm just like yeah this video is going to save someone's life think about the consequences it's just going to be better overall right and uh yeah it, it's, it can get really deep but sometimes you need that really deep thinking to be able to um actually take action consistently over time Sometimes you just don't want the techniques that just like last for now, the like two minute rule, for example. Yeah, you can use that, that's fine. But you actually wanna change your identity. You wanna change how you believe about these things. And that's why I think about consequences, think about your death, think about your legacy, think about all these different things can help you take action consistently long-term without knowing any, any more need of Pomodoro technique or shit like that, right? You just take your action because you know you have a deeper f purpose to fulfill on this planet, on this short time you're on this planet. And uh, that's what you wanna, like fulfill basically you want to you want to go ahead and do that a matter of fact just a little side note right i was talking to my wife uh, yesterday about this and um my son is eight months old okay so i am 30 years old well i'm 33 let's just say i'm 30 to make it the maths easier right so he's lived two-thirds of an of an entire year right now right so He's, he's eight months. He doesn't feel like he's eight months. He feels like we just brought him from the whole hospital the other day. Eight months ago was a very, very short time period ago, right? But his current lifetime is 45. If, if you were to like, he's, he lives for eight months and times by 45. Again, that doesn't seem that long. That would equate to a 30 year old, which is me. So if you did that by 90, that's a 60 year old. And that's two of me. That's like my dad's age. And if you did that, by the, another time, it'll be an, um, a 60 year old and a 90 year old, right? So when you really boil it down, life is very, very short. So if, if this, 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 may, this point may not reach so hard because you really need to think about it. Maybe you need to pause the video and think about it. Like think about where you were last year, right? You only get 80 of those experiences for the rest of your life. 80 or 90 experiences like for years old, right? So when you really like start to think about time and how quick it is, it makes you want to take action right now. You don't want to use any of these techniques and all these like um, these little these little techniques that like may help you at the beginning, but at the end end of it, you need to think like what's your what's your main reason for doing this? And then when there's a, when the why is big enough, you will just take action. It will become your identity. You will you will like do everything you need to do to make that happen. It's just literally how it works. So um, yeah, I don't want to get too deep on it, but I have done. But sometimes you need to get deep to get the real juice out of these things. So um, yeah, there you go. And then finally, this is the fourth section. So what physical things you can actually do to um, get you to take action immediately, right? So I'm gonna just like list them off and go into ones that are um, stand out. So the first one, you can literally just stand up. So you get here, you just change your physiology, you stand up, you feel the blood rushing through your body and you're like, okay, cool, I need to do this sit down and start the work, right? Next one, very simple, take a deep breath, breathe in. Fill your lungs completely, fill up to your belly, breathe out, feel the calmness that comes with it. Do that several times if you need to, 
and then eventually just just start the work once you feel like okay you put yourself in a physical state to do the work now you can stretch get the blood get the blood flowing to your body you can have a walk around have a think like think about what you're going to do when you, as you as you're walking around clap your hands like i said with the whole physical thing i do the i, I do the fist on the chest but you can clap your hands you can do whatever you want you can jump up and down um, if you if you like hop and jump you can do that with yourself um, you can get up and shake your body like just shaking your body like you could be stagnant for a while right and then you um, it like you know that whole phrase a body in motion tends to stay in motion, a body at rest tends to stay at rest. Just because you're at rest, just because you're chilling, you're sitting on your ass, you may not feel like doing anything. So get up, shake your body, like literally shake it out. You will change your physiology, do that for like 20 seconds, you'll be like, all right, cool, I need to like keep moving now because this is my new trajectory I've just put myself on. So you become a body at motion that stays at motion. So you're gonna do the exercise, make the calls, make the video, whatever, do what you need to do basically, right? Uh, next one is prepare, prepare yourself. So like put everything you need around like papers here. For me, the camera's there, my um, camera tools there, my computer's there, my lights there, everything I've got, my, I've got my phone here with my notes on it. So everything's set up, prepare yourself like physically, tidy up, that kind of goes along with it. You can get yourself a fidget toy, like a fidget spinner or like whatever, just like ca carry something in your hand, like twist it about, whatever, while you're doing the task at hand. Um, you can um, write down your plan for the day. So like, like I said in an earlier chapter, write down a plan. So this one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna record the video, I'm gonna upload it, I'm gonna do the thumbnail, I'm gonna do the title, blah, 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 etc. right? Uh, you can change your clothes. This is literally what I did actually, because I don't usually wear this this black tee, but I wear like uh, another one that's got like some words on it. But for the videos, I don't wanna have any words on it. I want it to be like completely plain and just like me. So I, me by me putting this black top on, it's like a physical change in my mind. Just like, okay, I, I need to work. I'm getting into work mode. And there's only one top of these that I have. So if you ever see me wearing this, it means I've just put it on most of the time because I want to keep it clean what, and before I record. So it's like specifically for recording this top. And when I get there, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the flow. I'm in the zone. I want to work when I'm in this t-shirt, which is like interesting, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, you can do one for yourself as well. It could be a watch, it could be a, a ring, it could be a t-shirt, it could be anything. Once you do your hair, once you gel your hair, whatever, right? That could be your thing. Um, so yeah, open a, uh, a work note or a, note, a notebook or a document. So if you're gonna do 10 calls, you do a little tally, for example, you just start writing down like one, 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 five, one, 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 five. And then again, so you're kind of doing your, tracking your calls or tracking your push-ups or tracking your, how many videos you record, etc. You can use post-it notes for little motivational little tips here and there. You can make a gesture like I mentioned before. You can use props like I've uh, you know, kind of mentioned that before as well. And then uh, you can engage your senses. So this one's cool. You can um, light a candle. You can put some oils on, on the go. You can like let a, you know, these little like um, scented like little wicks. I can't remember what you call it. Um, the, those, those little sticks that you light and it, it burns down slow and then the smoke goes everywhere but it's like kind of like meditative you can use that to kind of like put you incense that's it incense so you can use that to put you in a zone and one, once that is lit you're like all right i'm working and you could actually use that as your timer as soon as it gets down to the bottom then you can stop type of stuff right so that's quite cool too um, physical affirmation, you can be like, look, I'm gonna pat myself on the back, like pat yourself on the chest, like, yes, come on, you can do this. I'm gonna do this for this amount of time. I'm gonna use the Pomodoro technique, I'm gonna do this. This is my why, this is it. You can shout all this shit out, right? You get yourself pumped up enough to do the work and then you actually start doing the work. That's basically it. And then uh, going back to the Mel Robbins thing, do a physical countdown rather than just, just in your head. So shoot it in the head, like five, four, three, two, one. You're like five, four, three, two, one, and then boom, you go ahead and take action, press record, you do that push-ups, you do those, you, you speed to that pretty girl, you do those 10 core calls, etc. right? So all these different things that I've mentioned in this video are everything you can use to eradicate procrastination completely for the rest of your life. So like I said, use this video as a playbook. Don't use it just like watch the entire thing. Maybe watch the entire thing for the first time, but for, the, for every time after that, just go to the specific section you need um, and if you've time stamped where you want specifically that were like points that you never thought about or just want to go more deep on, time stamp those things and then you can just refer to that and watch that little section only and then go back to your work. So you're not spending the entire time watching the video again, procrastinating whilst watching the video, right? So I hope that helps. Um, I put a lot of effort into this one. So hopefully um, you enjoy this and it helps you and it reaches the right person today. And uh, 
yeah, just gonna leave it there. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope this helped. I'll catch you later.